Hi, my name is Andrew Myers and I'm the Executive Director of the Arizona Dispensaries Association. We are a 501c6 nonprofit industry association and we represent the majority of large dispensaries and large cultivation facilities within the state of Arizona. Combined, our members have several hundred thousand square feet of cultivation space that they're currently producing in. So we're here today at a Department of Energy certified testing laboratory to test six of the leading LED fixtures on the market. All of them are designed to replace 1000 watt high pressure sodium bulbs. And we're using this very expensive piece of equipment to test exactly how much light is coming out of these LED fixtures. As we all know, more light equals more yield, but unfortunately many of these manufacturers do not publish the information on exactly how much light comes out of the fixture. So we're here today to separate myth from reality and really answer a big question. Is LED technology ready for prime time or is it something that still needs more development? And honestly, the results were pretty staggering. The number one fixture that we tested produced nearly 100% of the light as a number six fixture. So this is some information you're going to want to stay tuned for. So this lumen number that we have on the box here correlates to the PPF number that we're going to be getting for the fixtures that we test in the three meter sphere. Now, very few manufacturers will reveal that raw PPF number, which is really like equivalent to a horsepower rating for that light fixture. What many manufacturers do report is a number called PPFD, which is the actual distribution of that light into a particular area, into a particular square meter. And many fixtures can generate a very substantial amount of light in a very small area, which is a very misleading number. So what you end up getting in practice is a hotspot over your plants in one very central area, but even 10 inches or a foot off center, the PAR levels drop off from something that's very impressive, say 1200 to 1400 PAR, down to a very low level, maybe 300, 400 PAR. And that's why we experience that uneven plant growth, where under the hot spot, plants do really well, or maybe you're even overstressed because they're getting too much light. So what's really important is the PPF number, also the PPFD because that is the distribution of that light over a specified area and then also the efficiency that it's getting. How much uh, micromole output there is per joule of energy being used. So we're going to be looking at all three of those numbers today and hopefully by the end we'll have a pretty comprehensive view of what works and what doesn't. So this is the piece of equipment that we're going to be using to do the test. This is called a three meter integrated sphere. It's made by a company called LabSphere. And as this slides open, you're going to see this very large piece of equipment that runs about a quarter million dollars has a hyper reflective coating on the inside. So what's going to happen is we're going to mount the fixtures at that mounting point. We're going to flip them on. The photons are going to bounce around the sphere until they're collected here at this piece of equipment, which is called a spectrometer. And what that's going to tell us is exactly how much light output there was, what color that light is, and how efficient the fixture is. The six fixtures we're testing today are the Black Dog Platinum XLU, the BML Spider 1000, the BML Spider 1200, the California Lightworks Solar Storm 880, the Illumitex NeoSoul DS, and the LSG Vivid Grow. So let's get to the results. The first number that we're looking at is the PPF number, the raw power number. In sixth place was the LSG Vivid Grow with 665 micromoles. In fifth place was the Illumitex NeoSoul DS with 744 micromoles. In fourth place, the California Lightworks 880 with 811 micromoles. In third place, the Black Dog Platinum XLU with 842 micromoles. And then the top two fixtures were both from BML. In second place was the BML Spider 1000 at an even 900 micromoles and the BML Spider 1200 blew away the competition with a number of 1163 micromoles on PPF. So now we're gonna to get to the efficiency results recorded in a micromoles per joule. Here's where we saw a really significant difference between the commercial grade fixtures and then the fixtures that are designed more for a hobbyist. The least efficient fixture was the Black Dog Platinum XLU, which you'll remember put out a very impressive PPF number, but they have a very low efficiency number of only 1.14 micromoles per joule, which obviously makes it incredibly expensive to use in a commercial environment. The second lowest efficiency number came from the California Lightworks 880 fixture, which came in at 1.3 micromoles per joule. These are the two fixtures that we would really consider to be more hobbyist-oriented fixtures. 
As far as the commercial grade fixtures go, the least efficient was the Illumitex Neosol DS, which came in at 1.45 micromoles per joule. But the top three fixtures actually have very similar efficiency numbers. The BML Spider 1200 comes in at 1.67. Slightly better was the LSG Vivid Grow at 1.7. And the less powerful BML fixture, the BML Spider 1000, came in at a very impressive 1.73 micromoles per joule. We completed our testing here today, and I think we have a clear winner. Uh, the BML Spider 1200 had by far the highest PPF output and had an efficiency rating that was equal to its closest competitors. So I think it's pretty clear that in the LED field, uh, the Spider 1200 is probably the best product. And something else that's really important that we didn't talk about today, we didn't test for PPFD, but the form factor of the Spider 1200 is very important too. You see here, we have a footprint, like a three foot by three foot footprint that this light lays out, which means we're gonna get those PPFD numbers that are much more uniform than a, smaller, than a smaller fixture with a smaller form factor that's only one foot by one foot that's gonna create those hot spots under the light and not get that even distribution. So all in all, a very impressive performance today from the BML fixture. I hope you found this video educational. I hope it helps you to ask the correct questions of lighting manufacturers, and we can really hold their feet to the fire and make them start providing these PPF numbers so we as consumers can make educated decisions. Thanks so much for your time.